We've got more than we did have when I was younger and when my parents were younger. Opportunities are definitely more, especially with education, um, although it does still need to get better for future generations. It's convenient. I can get into town if I want to. Not that I tend to, though, but if I wanted to, I could. Um, no, nobody comes into town because it's just terrifying. You either have the drug issue or you have the homeless issue. Well, to be honest with you, uh, just, just uh, they still they say it's not there anymore. Just just the comrade, just the, the friendliness of people as well. You know, but there's. It's easy, it's easy, you know, like, uh, it used to be hard, even though there were good days when they were in the 70s and 80s. About where I live uh, in Thorn, uh, I would say, it, because I've lived there most of my life, my dad was born there, uh, it's more of a, now, it, it, it's more of a, how can I put it, sentimental kind of thing for me, but... I think that the... the... I, I like the, I like the neighbourhood. I, I like the people around us. Uh, very friendly. We all we all seem to get on, and people look out for each other. So if anything happens, people are always sort of there. The local shops, the all people you know who operate them, they're all friendly people. And I think at community. Exactly where I live, or yeah, yeah, you mean the town? Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, where we are is quite peaceful, quite quiet. Convenience. Uh, being close to town and all the amenities that the town offers. Uh, I find Doncaster actually uh, can come in. The uh, creativity is actually improving. Well, it's not improving, it's getting bigger and getting more recognised. Yeah, I think Doncaster's on the rise. Opportunities are definitely more, especially with education, work experience. I think it is definitely improving for young people. Um, but well, to be fair, there's not really much to laugh about Bowlby really. Apart from it's famous for having uh, open all hours, um, obviously on the doorstep, but it's close to the A1. You know, you can get get to places, get to Sheffield, get to Hull. Great question. Um, I've been in Doncaster all my life. Um, past changes for the past 30 years, I've seen big changes, and I think it's all for better. We're getting there. We're getting there. Everything. I start right saying that. Uh, good question. I love all the stuff for kids to do. Everything's getting fantastic in Doncaster now. We've got all the trampoline parks and we've got all the parks. We've got a parking sprot row what's getting improved. So yeah, I've got a four-year-old and a six-year-old, so just all the improvements for the children and Doncaster's just becoming fabulous now. Uh, it's a nice area. You see different people now and then and like different talent. It's a nice small village and it's easy to get anywhere. Well, it's a pretty casual area and everywhere you go, you know somebody, so it's, it's a bit chill and you can just have a mess about with your mates, and, yeah. I love that it's completely different to how it was when I was small. I spent a long time clawing my way out, but I kind of realised that if I left, then nobody would change it for the people after me. So I love that there's culture and things are happening and you can turn around and see stuff emerging in front of your eyes at any second and I never thought it would be like that probably more opportunities for young people because I feel like they're just hanging around on the streets and there's not really much for them to do and it's a hard subject to tackle because it's hard things to think about and ideas to get them involved in things but definitely think more things for the young people. I think there should be more opportunities for young people. I think we could improve how it looks. It would help if we can sort the drug problem around town but bar that everything else is okay. I say improvements, I want to be more like a city. So we've got big culture, we've got big things happening all the time, and we are starting to see that happening. And I think more of that, you're going to see more of a community build. I'd like to see the street scene improved, uh, and possibly a little bit more... Well, I call town centre my village, because I live so close. So what I'd like to see improved is sort of maybe a little bit more vibrancy around night time, but not the nighttime economy that we've got. I've seen the town decline quite a lot. Uh, the main street in Thorn, which is King Street, uh, you've got just as many shops vacant now than what there is businesses in. Uh, and those businesses that do exist, by rule of thumb now, we always say, if you want a cup of tea or if you want your hair cut in, then you're all right in Thorn. But the rest of it, the market, it's trying to start back up again in Thorn, 
but it's 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 died it's dying to death it's dying to death which is heartbreaking uh, for me i mean i've lived all over the country with being ex forces i've lived up in scotland uh, i've lived down south uh, and like i always go back to thorn and i think i always will but it's it, that's what makes it so heartbreaking really So it's just dangerous to come into town. It's a lot safer coming into the town on my own than it would be to bring my kids into town, which I don't do. It's just a little, little, it's Clay Lane, so it's just a little area on its own. We're cut off from everybody else. And it's like the old days where everybody knows everybody, you recognise faces, kids are quite happy in the street. Nobody comes on there, so there's no issue. But if I lived in a bigger area, then it would be an issue, or my kids wouldn't be allowed out because you don't know who was wandering about nowadays. Focus on getting the unlikely bulls out of the town centre so your older generation will come back in. What I'd like to see improve is more backing and more encouragement for people to start up the small businesses because I feel nationwide in general uh, with manufacturing the, gone the way that it has done I mean, going back to Thorn again, we used to have everything in our town. We used to have textile industry. We, we, had, we even had a shipyard in Thorn. Uh, we had the pits nearby. Uh, so it was it was real busy kind of bustling place. But slowly but surely, those industries have gone down the Swanee. And I think there's more people now trying, trying to make a little go of it themselves on their own individual businesses, whether it be working from home or taking the plunge and doing fairs and things like that. But I'd like to see more encouragement, some kind of initiative, so that, that people could fill those empty shops that I talked about earlier and at least give them a chance, give them a chance to try and do something because the vast majority of people out there don't want to sit on the backside. They want to earn, they need to, you know, and, and I think that society as a whole would be a heck of a lot better if they did that. So it's, it's nice, you know, and but the things is, they've moved on, they're not, they're never going to be the same. There's a pub closed every two minutes, isn't there? You ain't got that same. All the pubs used to be full, every single one when I were a kid, you know, and uh, and you had money to do it, you had you could go and do what you want, you always had enough in your way just to go on holiday for two weeks a year, do what you want, and go out every night. But money's tight isn't it you know i think that's that's the thing i mean oh definitely yeah yeah the shopping side of it you know but uh, it were always pub life in them you know as a young teenager growing up and it was brilliant nightlife or it's i've heard it's quite dangerous i would never go out at night around on hero but i've heard it's quite dangerous these days you know and you, you can things are flaring up all the time you know and, it's a shame that because Doncaster is a very, very early city, and I think we've, we've, had, we've been occupied since the 11th century, and the history here has been wiped out. So what could be improved is they, is they could start looking back into the history of Doncaster and find things here that would attract people because of the, the fact that it's, you know, what well, we are, about a thousand years old now. Because they got rid the, the, some of like the, the, there was a house, there was a famous house. Kevin, you'll, you, you'll know this one. What was that house? It was the elephants that they, they, they dug into the, the rocks. House. Sandhouse. I mean, they're not going to be able to resurrect it, but it's still there apparently. And if they could, if they could look back to the history and use the history of Doncaster to bring it up. Like we built lots of trains here. Morning, darling. But the train, the, the train museum went to, to York, and we haven't got anything that is culturally interesting in Doncaster, and we need it. The museum's very nice, but it's a bit out the way and slightly twee. Uh, it's more creative people like uh, coming together and just creating more content, more stuff. Probably more normal shops rather than every single pub or, no offence, charity shop. I do agree with charities, but I just want some normal shops, just shopping shops so you can walk around town and have a shop instead of having to go onto the internet. I'm getting more custom into Doncaster Town Centre. Yeah. yeah. It gives you different opportunities and that you can see different talent just in that town centre. Well, obviously they need to make other places for people to go. Like, obviously, there's only a few things for children to do. But if they make, obviously make things around the area, then a lot more people will, like, go out and do stuff.
I think we need to make spice a social issue and not a police issue and start putting our own community resources into that problem and not expecting police to pick up the slack. More opportunities and I think career prospects because I think once career prospects are higher and aspirations are higher and achieved then that's what the main thing is for our young people. Once they've got an aspiration and a career in mind, I think things are tackled then and it solves other things. Yeah, more, op more options for young people uh, in school in general and working. Conquering drugs and to improve how it looks and to clean it all up. It's all the same, it's, you know what I mean? No best bits. It's all the same, it's all the same in village. So. Trying to improve on the criminals, trying to get them away from the town so people feel more comfy when they're in town. The more, the more options you have, the better chance you have of getting anywhere in life. Mm, focus on more training, more getting people together more, I think. It's still, we're still classed as distant, I think, too distant from other places. Showcasing what we can do and being beyond expectations. No buses on the road. Because when we moved in, there was no buses and now they've put a bus route on there. Probably more policing. Yeah, for children be more child orientated. I think it should focus on the talent of the people that we've got. Uh, unfortunately, we've got a lot of talented people, past and present, and we don't celebrate that. Well, it could be a lot cleaner than what it is at town centre. What I'd like to see improve is more backing and more encouragement for people to start up the small businesses because I feel nationwide in general uh, with manufacturing the, gone the way that it has done I mean going back to Thorn again we used to have everything in our town we used to have textile industry we, we, had, we even had a shipyard in Thorn uh, we had the pits nearby uh, so it, it was it was real busy kind of bustling place but slowly but surely those industries have gone down the Swanee and I think there's more people now trying, trying to make a little go of it themselves on their own individual businesses, whether it be working from home or taking the plunge and doing fairs and things like that. But I'd like to see more encouragement, some kind of initiative so that, that people could fill those empty shops that I talked about earlier and at least give them a chance, give them a chance to try and do something because the vast majority of people out there don't want to sit on the backside. They want to earn, they need to, you know, and, and I think that society as a whole would be a heck of a lot better if they did that. Doncaster should focus on the young people because they're going to sort out the mess that we've left. I appreciate all the new work that's, that's going on around the town, you know, to try and tidy things up. Um, but I think sometimes they're that focused on some of the big things getting done as a facelift and whatnot, they're missing what, what keeps this place going, the undercurrent the less reason people have got to come to town. Less reason people have got to come to town, there's gonna to be less money spent. And therefore it's a steady downstream of shops closing, businesses closing, you know, and that's got to change. There's gotta be more initiative to, to, to herd people into the town.